Okay, so hello everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing a short review. Hopefully it's short enough, but a review of something I got to expand my um, my locksmithing repinning tools thing. My kit here for repinning your locks. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd expand on what I have by getting um, the Peterson Universal Top Loader and I got a case for it because I don't think I'll have room in the other um, kit. So let's see what we get. Um, it does cost about $90 or so. Um, it's, not, it's not cheap. But what do we get for our money? It's got this uh, kind of a paracord strap thing going on there. I don't really need that. But yeah, this is this case itself. It's quite sturdy. Pretty well made. It's even got a little bit of a water's tight seal going around the, the outside there, if you want to have a look. Got some instructions there. But I'll show you the case at the end. It's not that important. What's important is what's inside. So you can see it's got this foam stuff holding all the parts together. And yeah, this is the important part here. This allows you, if you have a full Euro cylinder and you need to rekey it or you're repinning it and all the driver pins are out of the bottom this makes it easy if you have a full like I say a full euro cylinder to repin it and some people they like um, like to make these out of um, plastic and stuff I don't have a uh, 3D printer so I tried to get something um, else instead so I got this um, and yeah it'll do the job so yeah, uh, what do we have? We've got this like plastic handles going on here. It's not bad. Uh, nice metal. I think it's aluminium or something. Or steel maybe. Either way. Um, you get two sizes. You get one long and one short. For different size um, Euro cylinders. Basically, what you do is you grab one of these and for argument's sake we're just going to pretend this side has still got the plug in it and all that just to demonstrate on this uh, Yale here that you see you, you put all your, your springs in there and then when you you obviously you're going to want to repin this so what you're going to do is you can see there you're going to turn this and it will reveal one of the, f the first hole there in the front that will allow you to put your your pins in and um, of course you're not going to be using it that way necessarily you could do it from that side, the back to the front and as you can see as you turn it the next hole gets opened up and the rest is still held down and continues on as you go around and yeah then when you're finished you just keep rotating it and then what you get is if, if you've already got a, a kit like this you could try using the pinning shear in that or uh, Peterson also provide us with another type of pinning shear because not all um, the locks that you get out there, the um, pinning shoe in the other kit fits. So what you do, as you can see there's a little cut out there. You can just fit that in there. It slides in there nicely. What that's going to do is that's going to hold down all the pins in there. So now, all you need to do, pull that out. All your pins are in there, they're not going to jump out. And mess everything up and you can kind of see that also helps 
Um, see that helps rest or rest the lock on there. It doesn't roll over. It doesn't really matter though too much. Um, but yeah, what you can then do is if you've got a follower is I'm just going to grab this one over here. Is it this one? Yeah. So as you can see here, you've got a little cutout there on this on this uh, plug follower, and that nicely goes over there. So yeah, it does work quite well with uh, this kit here. If you want to add it as an extension to what you already have, I know a lot of people have that HUK kit, but yeah. As you can see, it allows you to put a nice plug follower in there. And then you can remove this. That, your pins stay inside. You can then rotate this if you wish. Then push that back out. And then you can do the other side. Or if you wish, you could even just uh, put the... The... Um, plug on in on that side. Now it's also worth mentioning I think that if the one side is already pinned up you can just put the plug straight in and yeah you're good to go. So either way this uh, Peterson kit is very nice. Feels like it's uh, made of decent quality metal and materials. So, um, I can't really fault it much on anything. I think it's uh, it's definitely worth adding to um, your collection if you're a locksmith or a picker who likes to make challenge locks or disassemble locks and stuff, like myself. Even though I don't make many good challenge locks yet, but yeah, your locks have to be bad in order to get to get good I suppose. Anyway this is just instructions on how to use it basically. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll just show you the case now. You can see around here we've got like a waterproof or well, water resistant uh, kind of seal it's made of rubber to help keep water out if you're working outside. And yeah this uh, keeps all your all the parts of your kit in there nicely. So yeah, it's got a little, little clip there that closes the case, and yeah, thumbs up from me on this. I think it's worth the, um, worth the ninety dollars or whatever it is you're gonna pay, and um, yeah, it definitely makes these guys. A whole lot easier to repin and turn into a challenge lock or just whatever lock you want it to be. So yeah, thanks for watching and I recommend this product. Keep your picking legal and I'll see you next time. Thanks.